Happy Friday. You made it to the end of the week. Today I want to share one of my favorite verses with you from Acts chapter 5. It's from the life of Peter and we're, we're talking about how uh, we can be redeemed despite our failures and past mistakes and we see that so clearly in the life of Peter. So this is from Acts chapter 5. It's a, it's a great story by the way. You should read the whole thing yourself. It's, it's hysterical. It's funny. Um, there's some great moments in it but we can't do, share all that in a daily video, so we're just going to look at Acts 5, 27 to 29. When the captain and the court of officer had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop preaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. We must obey God rather than men. Now, again, think about this as Peter, who not too long ago had denied Jesus because he was afraid for his life. He was afraid he was going to get arrested. Now, after the resurrection, after this restorative moment with Jesus by the charcoal fire, rather than backing down to the religious officials who had the power to kill him, he says this, we must obey God rather than men. It's like, we're not going to stop preaching about Jesus because you tell us to stop. No, we're going to obey God rather than men. He, he, he overcomes his fear with incredible courage. Let's pray for the grace to have the courage of Peter. Heavenly Father, we want to learn from Peter. We want to obey you and not be afraid of human beings, not afraid what others think of us, but, we want, but to live in obedience to you. Help us to have the same courage as Peter. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.